Hi, welcome back for another track guide. My name is Russell, aka Finding Speed on YouTube. We are at Alton Park this week. We've got to fix that up. Uh, and I hope you have a really good week of racing here. Uh, if you find this guide useful, please do give the video a like. Please do subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Uh, best of luck to you. Hopefully, I'll see you out there on the track this week. Cheers. Okay, so let's break down this 130.8 here at Alton. Uh, race conditions, race fuel. Uh, it's another hot track here this week. Uh, 31 degrees for this particular lap. And now, as we come to um, the final poster on the left-hand side here, just before it starts, we're going to start our braking. Now, I'm going to take it down to third. And it's an incredibly, it's an incredibly, incredibly tough corner, this. So we're down to third and we've started our turn in so that we basically apex at the very end of the red inside curb here. And I've already started building up the accelerator reasonably fast and I'm going to get myself back up to fourth as quick as I can. You can use a little bit more than the curb on exit but much more and it'll be an off track. Now we need to be over to the right hand side of the track here and we're going to start our braking just before this little dip just ahead of us. Um, if we brake a little bit later, that dip in the track and, and the turn in is going to really throw the balance off in the car. So you've got to be quite cautious here. So we're down to third and we are wanting to apex. Um, nearest the cones basically sort of at the end of the armco on the left and we're back up into fourth and you've really got to watch this exit it's so easy to pick up an off track here basically if you go past the end of the curbing the red and white curbing and just brush past the white line there you're gonna you're gonna um, get buy yourself an off track um, you're okay to go just over just after uh, it's a very uh, it's a very demanding exit there so we can carry a lot of speed here but we want to dip out of the accelerator just at the entrance of the um, the side road there um, and we really want to apex rather dangerously right at the end of the curbing right where the grass starts again so you've got to be careful that you don't chew the grass here. We don't need to be particularly far over to the left here, but we do need to make sure we start our braking by this little dirt patch. If you manage to, if you've got really good temperatures uh, for your race uh, and you manage to run that corner flat out, uh, then you're going to want to break earlier than this, uh, coming to this slow uh, hairpin for turn five. So we're braking super heavily, 
we're actually entering really tight in we're down to second gear now what we're looking for is the change in the inside curb where it's quite bright and clean and then it starts to dirty up where cars are traveling on it that's really where we're going to want to start thinking about getting back on the gas and as long as we keep ourselves tight to this inside bit here we're in a bit of a um, a bit of a well here and the car will stick to the road a lot better if you if you're not super tight here then you're um you, you're going to miss the camber and you're not going to be able to stick to the track with 100 percent gas here you're going to fall off so we're coming up to one of the trickiest second uh, sections at alton and it's particularly tricky here because it's really hard to find a braking marker here there's very very little to see but there is some um tire marks on the track just in front of us not particularly obvious when you're driving frankly uh, but you just need to be able to give yourself enough time uh, to bring yourself down to second gear and we're actually going to aim um, towards this tire stack on the left and we want to get pretty close to it now if you go too far over to the left and not hit the tire stack you are going to pick up an off track so you've got to be a little bit careful it takes a little bit of uh uh practice but we, we we're creating the straight line between these two stacks essentially and we need to do the majority of our braking before we get to the second one and we want to start turning really aggressively really early and we're out of the brakes and back on the accelerator um horrible section that it's going to take a lot of repetition a lot of practice but you can carry a surprising amount of speed around there so we're looking ahead to the 100 board and just before we're going to start our braking and we're going to bring the car right down to second gear and we're turning in quite early here probably about the third cone on the right hand side uh, you might not quite be able to see that in frame uh, but there it is um, we're going to get the majority of our braking done and we're actually going to get ourselves into the accelerator for a very brief period here and then we're going to brush the brakes again so we get very very tight to this inside tire stack um we want to ride this curb as much as we can and then throw the car over to the left we're staying in second gear out of the accelerator get that car to really turn in here let's take that back and we're out of the accelerator and back up and then up to third and then pushing up to fourth it's very very demanding there but basically if you dip out at just the right time of the accelerator you can get that extra bit of turn in so we've got a very fast right coming up and what we want to do is make sure we park ourselves right over on the left hand side the track actually bulges out to the left here and we want to use that um, and then just as it turns angles that's where we just need to dab the brakes briefly and we're gonna um, drop the car down into fourth we need to be tight to this inside curb and we want to be out of the brakes at this point um, but the, the most important thing is we are tight to the curb here and then we're building up the accelerator really slowly and the car will stick on exit So we're going to break roughly by the arrow here and we need to really really weigh the anchors and we're going to come right down to second gear and we basically want to turn in where the curb starts to fatten up there uh, on the inside curb that's really when we want to turn in and we want to maintain that trail break right up until the point where we want to hit the gas which is right at the end of the curbing and we're building up really nice and steadily so we can make the exit if you're not steady on the accelerator on exit there the back wheels are just going to churn up and you're going to lose a lot of time you want to keep that exit speed up by being really light on the accelerator on exit that's Alton Park it's a really tricky drive it's particularly tough here because we've got high temperatures this week um, if you found it useful, please do give it a like, 
Uh, if you want more of these track guides, please do subscribe to Finding Speed on YouTube. Um, best of luck for your races here this week. Uh, if I didn't see you before, hopefully I will see you out there on the track. Cheers, folks.